I just went through a rigged trial in New York. Now that Donald Trump has completed his pre-sentencing interview with a probation official, a report on the interview will be sent directly to Judge Juan Mershon, who has a few options for sentencing Trump. The most serious one, prison time. The crimes for which Trump's been convicted, falsifying business records, could carry sentences of up to four years each, with a maximum of 20 years. But realistically... It's unlikely that someone convicted of this type of felony in New York with no prior criminal history would see much, if any, prison time. Trump's advanced age, experts say, would also be a factor in not sending him to prison. He turns 78 this week. Another sentencing option? Probation. Analysts say while that might be a more realistic choice, it would come with a host of inconveniences and indignities for the former president. Having to be drug tested, having to check in with a probation officer. There could be random visits by probation officers to your home, not with a search warrant, but they can come knock on the door and you need to let them in. Home confinement also might be part of a probation sentence for Trump, or maybe a restriction on out-of-state travel. If he were going to fly off to uh, another state, uh, Wisconsin, Arizona, he would uh, have to get explicit permission from the probation agency. Trump could simply be fined for his convictions, or... He could do community service where he has to pick up trash on the subways. Experts say a conditional discharge could be a sentencing option. It is a condition of your discharge or your release, and you have to abide by those conditions. The court will say, don't get arrested, go in, don't get in trouble for the next year or during the pendency of your sentence um, or for a stated period of time. And that's it. You're not checking in. No one's following up with you. There's no probation. There's no oversight. All options, experts say, reflective of the striking uniqueness of this situation. For the probation department, this is uncharted waters. They have never interviewed someone of this stature before. They know that their word, their recommendation is going to weigh heavily into judgment and decision by Judge Mershon.